Hello, everybody. Hopefully your decision to vote for either one of the two candidates with dementia or a third party or not voting is going all right today. I'm still getting used to the whole like working from home, trying not to go, you know, totally insane at the moment. So no shit. There I was just reading the news with my homie here, Will Farrow, who I definitely found as I was moving. He was in a box. So thank you. Whoever sent that to me. I was reading around the news. Check this out. And this is completely serious. Okay, there's no exaggeration. If this is YouTube, all my sources are in the description box of this video. A literal neo-Nazi U.S. Army soldier allegedly plotted attacks in the U.S. Army base. Now, that's not where it gets like super crazy. I'm going to give you guys the story, and then I'm going to give you guys the information on the neo-Nazi group that was involved. This is actually perfect for me because I actually want to get my PhD studying extremism. So I'm like, oh, yeah, here we go. We're going to go study extremists, especially Nazis and stuff. Let's do this. <laughs> These guys are so insane. They literally, I guess the word is idolize. Osama bin Laden, yes, Osama bin Laden, as in the jihadist. Specifically, I would argue later on more like his tactics. Osama bin Laden to Hitler. All while trying to create a race of satanic supermen who want to colonize the solar system. That is what I want to go into. Also, by the way, there's been this dog outside that's been barking for like probably like five hours now. It's still in the morning. So if you hear that, I apologize. Anyway, let's just jump right into this. So here is information according to Al Jazeera, and it's about this individual who pleaded guilty. It's the guy that's involved. Now, I have other sources as well, but this is like, this is the best summarization, I would say. So here's what it says, quote, the U.S. Department of Justice accused Meltzer, who is the soldier, of using an encrypted app to send his unit's planned movements to members of the Order of Nine Angels, O9A, which it describes as an occult-based new Nazi and white supremacist group and a related group called the Rape Waffen Division. Calling Meltzer the enemy within, prosecutors said the Louisville, Kentucky resident hoped to cause mass casualties through what he and co-conspirators labeled a jihadist attack. Again, it's ironic because they're white nationalists. Melzer enlisted in the army in 2018, joined the O9A in 2019, and began planning the attack in April after learning of a new foreign deployment for his unit, prosecutors said. The plot was foiled in May, and Melzer was arrested on June 10th, they added. So, holy Jesus. Let's just, let's just stop here just for half a second here. So everybody's out here being like, oh my God, all these... These Islamist extremists trying to take over the United States. Wow, what are we going to do? And then, plot twist, the white nationalists, at least one of them, are trying to get inside the U.S. Army. So they're training with us to try to kill us. Hmm. Let's just think, put on our little detective hats here for half a second. That seems to be a bigger issue when we're talking about specifically in the U.S., right? I, I mean, hey, I would argue so. That's just my two cents, though. So let's go into what the o, O9A really is. So it's the Order of Nine Angels, and this guy's role prior to the killings was to give information about their security and movements. So he was pretty much the guy who he would message and be like, hey, we're going to be deployed in this little location. And they're like, oh, oh, yeah, uh, thanks. You're such a help. Again, coffee sponsor, somebody hit me up. What's particularly... um confusing about these carcinogen labeled humanoids is that there are reports that they obviously don't only idolize Hitler, which go figure, of course they would idolize Hitler, but they also look up to the Islamist jihadists like Osama bin Laden and Satanists as well. So they're just like a whole cluster full of everybody. They're like, okay, who do we have? Hitler, check. Uh, Osama bin Laden, check. Who else? Satans? Satans? Satans. Satanic individuals you want to join in too? So they pretty much almost got everybody. They just need to add like a few religions in there and then they'll complete the whole circle. But Osama bin Laden, I would say, based off of my understanding about them, they're probably more looking up towards the tactics he used. For example, like, oh yeah, look at this small group of freedom fighters who are able to cause destruction on a mass scale at least once, which was 9-11. Look at how they're able to do that. Maybe we should copy a similar style. <laughs> Still ironic. Nobody will ever convince me otherwise that this is this is not funny. This is hilarious. <laughs> Even if you use their tactics, you're still copying what it is that they're doing. You're watching somebody, the enemy, do something. You're like, oh, that's a that's a good idea. We should 
We should do what they're doing. Even if they don't believe in the same thing, it's still hilarious. I don't care what anybody says. So the group obviously is, they're international and they're primarily based in the UK. So due to their roots in Satanism, the group apparently tries to be essentially as shitty as possible. So they rely on extreme violence, sexual assault, assassinations, and human sacrifices, or what they call culling. Culling is essentially where you find people or animals, mostly it's related to animals who are like inferior and they pull them away from the herd and they kill them because they're like, oh, we can't let this thing breed. So then they kill them. And so essentially the idea is that it will help contact sinister and supernatural forces and increase the breakdown of our current system. Again, I'm not making this up. You can check the the sources in the description box. Zach Moss Show, you can look it up on YouTube if you're watching this on TV. Now it is unclear how this guy got in contact with them but to end this piece here is the list of what he's indicted for so this is according to cnn charges of conspiracy to murder u.s nationals attempted murder of u.s nationals conspiracy to murder u.s service members attempted murder of u.s service members provision and attempted provision of material support to terrorists and conspiracy to murder and maim in a foreign country So the moment anybody is worried about Islamist extremists around us, remind them that white nationalist terrorists are more likely to kill you inside the U.S. This? This is case in point. 